if you're with your television set, if you can't see me, you might have just gone blind. But don't fear, my name's Sven Svensson, and here at the Institute, just over there mate, here at the Institute of uh, the Blind, we can look after you day and night. We're a company that's been set up since the 1940s, and we've always managed to help blind people through everyday things. We can take you out on bushwalks, out on nice little adventures, and we can show you the world, and with a caring hand, <laughs> make sure that you can get out and about out of sight of your house. So uh, if you need to give us a call, our number is 4644-4645. Give us a call and we can really look after you. This is Sven from the Institute of Blind. Okay, here we go. First step. Down. There we go. Second step. Easy now. Third step. There you go. I mean, it's great. Oh, oh, God. Yep, yep. I mean, it's great out here, you know, you just get them in the outdoors. Um, and it's just, I mean, we're having a lot of fun. And, um, I mean, it's just, it's easy to see. It's good for them. It's safe because I'm here watching over them, you know. I've got a lot of responsibility on my shoulders, but I feel that I, I can really take it, you know. I can take that on and I can, I can really look after people. And that's, that's, I mean, really, you, you can't pay for that. I mean, the paycheck's good, but you can't pay for that. It's just, a, it's just one of the best jobs in the world, really. Don't, don't eat. What is Bloody blind people, honestly. Um, David is always, he's always wanted to go to France, but I mean, it's just a bit out of the budget. That's a, you can't ask for that much. So we've just sort of taken him here, but just between, that's just between you and me, you know? And there it is, mate. There's the Eiffel Tower, huh? Isn't that amazing? Hey, can you smell the croissants in the air? Beautiful France. I can't believe it. I know you just said we couldn't drive here, but we got you here, mate. No, not a problem at all. Anything, you mean? Yeah, look, um... David, he's always wanted to go to France, but I mean... You know, we don't have the, we don't have the budget for that sort of stuff. So all we do is we just chuck him in a van and tell him it's the plane ride and take him out. Oh, hey! How you doing, mate? Yeah, huh? doing. How's France going? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, that's no, it's pretty cool out here. It was a very short plane trip, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I told you, it feels like you're just sitting in a van on a highway. It's a bit scary, that turbulence. Yeah, no, it's a bit bumpy, isn't it? Yeah. It's a little bit bumpy. Oh, well. What can you do? I just wish I could see. Yeah, well, fuck. It's pretty fucking awesome. Alright, let's go, let's go see if we can find some lovely uh, French ladies for you. Shall we go to the Louvre, maybe? Yeah, no, it's just over that way, I think. Just over there, mate. Okay. Yeah, no, just over there. Jesus. Fucking annoying, but oh, well, yeah, no, it's, um... Yeah, no, they've just been doing this for a little while, and, uh... Yeah, a bit of cash on the side. Doesn't Sorry, help. do you think you, think you should uh, go check? I'll be right, yeah! Good on you, mate. Oh, I'll go... Oh, I better get back to you, mate, I'll, yeah. Right, we're heading back to the plane, come on. Time to get back on there, gotta get back to Australia. I just really need to go to the toilet. Oh, yep. Um, yeah, mate, just here. Here we are. Take oh, right really? into the toilets. There you go, buddy. I mean, it's all just about, um, it's all just about helping them out and just, uh, you know, really looking after them. It's good, it's a good job. Thanks to the Institute of the Blind, I have been able to get my independence back and perform tasks much like an actual human being who isn't blind. For example, I drive to work where I'm an art curator for my job. <laughs>